Welcome back to Epistemics. Today I have a very special show with a very, very special guest. In fact, I have Mr. Pakistan on the show today, 2011 to 2016. You guys aren't going to believe me. Today I have Mr. Nadeem Ashraf. Yes. <laughs> As-salamu alaykum, bro. As-salamu alaykum. Peace be upon you. Yes, you too. Yes, of course, the English glossary in terms. Yep. So okay. let me just clarify. Yes. I did say Mr. Pakistan and I meant it from Dawa perspective. Okay. Mashallah. Allah. And what I mean by that is 2011 to 2016, yes. you were in Pakistan. Yes. You spent years there, you know, and you were there and you were focusing on Dawa. You were actually working in the Dawa, yes. right? You I mean, were working for Youth Club. We'll talk about Youth Club as we yep. go along. Yep. And uh, so from that perspective, you would have some very interesting insights. Mm. As far as the da'wah in Pakistan, uh, on, in particular, the sort of the, the, the so-called atheist movement or the trend which is taking place currently. And I want to get your thoughts on that today and obviously get some of your insights and some of your tips and some of your advice for the youth uh, that may be watching this from Pakistan. That being said, bro, let's begin right at the beginning, 2011. Mm. You are how old? Oh, good age. Uh, subhanallah. He doesn't know his own age. Uh, 2011, I was. Subhanallah. That's a really good question, bro. Like, I'll do a general thing. I was yeah, in, general. So, this is obviously um, eight years ago now. Yeah. So, I'm 42 yeah. now. So, we're talking 35. 30, 35 years old. So, yeah, you're 35, 35 years old. Yes. You decide to go to Pakistan. Make Hijra, yes. Make Hijra. Okay. I'm not going to go into the details of that. No, it's, no, no. It doesn't course. befit the. There's a blog. The, you can read the, it, inshallah. The topic <laughs> of or the. the objective of the show yes um but you go there yep. to settle with family yes you go there and very soon you get involved in that one yes right i know your story because i know you really to. well i had no intention to get yeah. involved but uh subhanallah you know a glory be to allah glory yeah. to god yeah please um clarify your arabisms as you, yes, as you go along glory be yeah. to god things happen yeah i had no intention to get involved in any kind of engagement with the youth engagement of uh discussing religion and theology with the students um but things happen and mm. uh I started, I guess I'll go into it really quickly. Yeah. Um, I, uh, where I started in Islamabad, which is the capital where I lived, um, the brothers, they used to have a gathering in English, right? Uh, every week. Taha. No, no, not Taha. No? Taha came, came later. That's, okay. a, that's a different story. Right. But these are other brothers. Yeah. They used to have a, the only <coughs> circle, study circle in English once a week mm -hmm. uh, in the whole of Islamabad. Mm -hmm. And I literally lived seven minutes, walk away from it. Okay. So, which is another, you know, uh, how would you say, Qadr Allah. I mean, yes. this is a uh, God's will, mm -hmm. how, as you want it. And from there, I joined these guys and uh, very sincere, uh, educated youth. I remember a lot of people have this perception of, especially uh, people who were born in this country, Pakistanis, that people from Pakistan, they're all, you know, backward and they're all, uh, they've got, you know, a lot of weaknesses, let's say. Yeah, I'm not going to go into the I, I will, details. I, so most people don't, I don't think most people have that perception. Maybe, maybe 20 years ago. Maybe when I... Possibly, you know, yeah. These, I think people, people... Uh, no, I, don't, I don't think they have that perception yeah, now, probably, but, but probably, I think you, you're right, mix now, mix now yeah, yeah, but maybe you're talking maybe 20 years. I used to live up north, so you're maybe 20 years ago, so things were totally probably different. You come yes. from Crawley, so that's another yeah, exactly, issue yeah, in, in yeah. and of itself, <laughs> which we can discuss later. Crawley guys are okay, so the northerners, yeah. yeah. yeah I'm just messing about. No. Um, but no, so, so northerners you, out there. Of course not, of course not, you know. I'm sure they have some beautiful things to yes. say about us too. <laughs> uh, but that being said, um, yes. you're there, you get you one way or the other, you get involved in the Dow, right? There was no youth club. At the time, there so was. youth club is. So what? I'm, I'm <laughs> okay. you're saying maybe I'll right. tell you a wrong story. Yeah. No, it began from sisters, so Muslim females, uh, Islamabad, who were students at Shifa College. Yeah, they started this, and then some brothers joined it, and I kind of joined it when I was seven, eight months old. Okay, uh, myself and uh, brother Raja Ziaulak, who's the CEO. Yeah, inshallah, maybe have him show someday in the future. Yes. Uh, by the Amazing will of yeah. uh, God, um, he, I met him at uh, one of the lakes. There's a lake there. We used to have a get together. That's how we used to do activity. Very light activity. So that's how I got involved with them. And okay. then they did different activities. And then obviously the years went by. And yes. as far as I know, from what I know of you and what I've heard, and we spent a lot of time together as yes. well. Yes. You obviously, uh, you know, God blessed you with a, a very prominent position, if you like, in oh. the organization. Uh, you know, you were close to Raja Zia, who is the CEO. Uh, still and, am. And still is <laughs> yes. of, of the youth club. And uh, you basically, what I noticed about you is you took a real big interest in uh, street dawah, street what, what dawah. you call uh, so uh, street you engagement, call engagement where yes. you're sharing the message of Islam yes. Yes. on the streets, yes. in particular university campuses, yes. right? Yes. That was your 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 struggle almost, my, right? My calling, my passion, yeah. a lot of work. Absolutely. Yeah, I remember when we went uh, about two years ago, so and I spent ten days with you in uh, Islamabad. Yes. We slept in ten your amazing uncles. days. Yeah? Yeah, absolutely amazing yeah, days. Yeah, yeah. We spent ten days in that room. Yes. 
had some really good conversations. But it was non-stop. We yeah, would do like yeah, yeah. two or three events every that's single day. Is. That's how it is. Uh, it was brilliant. So we we're going to mm. one university to another. And one thing I realized was that your passion, bro, was campus dawah. Mm. Campus where and dawah meaning uh, face where face you engagement. share the message yeah. of Islam yes. with people. So on the on campus, you were, yes. you were doing this. And I saw your frustrations as well when there wasn't too much of a focus on that. Mm, mm. Um, so it was why did you, why was that the case? Why did you find why did you find that aspect of sharing Islam, in particular on university campuses, so important? Yes, very good question. And I'm hoping those people who are watching it will yeah. be inspired to get involved with this more. Um, when we did our first ever stall in Publix in the, in the streets, and I think as far as I remember, me and the three four brothers that did it, um, a table in university was the first time ever. In its, of its kind To have a <coughs> table In a university yeah. I don't think it's ever been done before yeah. Maybe some other organisations Or older They've done it But not like this With the flies And how we engage um, We did the first time That was the fast university The very university That we went to Yes That was the only That was a one-off In 2012 yeah. What then happened We went to the marketplaces Of Islamabad So those Again People are watching They'll know Jenna Super Supermarket F7 These are kind of hot spots Where youth hang out Market areas when we did engagement there, when we did call share Islam there, and of course, this is where some people are thinking, well, you're in a Muslim country. What kind of engagement are you doing there? How are you sharing yeah. Islam? Well, there are Christians there. Is yeah. In fact, supermarket, there's a massive Christian community. And every time we go, there's always one or two Christians. Yeah. A uh, lot of diplomats come to Islamabad. It's a capital city. So we people all over the world. Yep. Um, and we p meet people who, are, who have doubts in the religion. Yeah. People who are materialistic, they need guidance, just general youth issues. What happened though, although that was our priority, um, with all due respect, a lot of uncles, elderly people who are already practicing Islam, you know, the people with the uh, um, <clears throat> who go to mosque, who pray, everything. They used to come to the stall. Yeah. And we used to spend two, three hours just chatting there, have yeah. a nice chat. With all due respect, I'm not there for a nice chat, yeah. if you know what I mean. I'm there to engage with the youth, the teenagers who need guidance, who mm -hmm. are, who've got some confusing issues about life, uh, you know, metaphysical questions, existential yeah. questions, that kind of thing. It does happen. Yeah. These are educated okay, youth. Let, Islam me, let me pause you there for a second. Sure. Let me ask you a very important question. Okay. Pakistan is a Muslim country. Yes. Uh, Muslims in Pakistan love the Prophet peace be upon him. Yes. Love Islam, yes. right? You see that 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 passion for for the tradition there. Why do you think in such an environment people still have existential questions, mm. certain basic questions about the tradition about Islam, which you would expect people to know? Why Why do you think this is the case? Um, I think there's various reasons. But, yeah, and it Just can be it can, it can be exhaustive. Yeah. But, to, for sake of brevity, I would say things like factors like um, Islam is like a, it's not it's it's just something which which they do normally everywhere. When you're in UK, Islam is uh, you're grateful for Islam. Mm. You're grateful to practice religion. It's a it's a bit special. A lot of <coughs> us, I think, as far as I remember, you and myself, yeah. we came from a background where we weren't practicing Islam yes. fully all the time. Then God guided us. We repented from our ways and we started, you know, changing. And we're still changing. We're still yeah. seeking His pleasure. We're still working ourselves. But so for us, Islam was like fresh thing. It's a new thing. Yeah. There, you're seeing Islam from the beginning. The uh, the call to prayer, the adhan call, pray, call to prayer. There's mosques everywhere, yeah. every single street, yeah. even Islam. When we go there, something beautiful, everywhere. absolutely amazing. It's, it's, here, it's beautiful. Yeah. For us, it's beautiful. Yeah. But for, for, for a youth who's living there, who's seen this all, in, all his life, it's not so much beautiful because it's, it's not a novelty anymore. Mm. It's the same thing again and again. And on top of that, there's, because the, it's a Muslim country, the Muslim world, I, I'm talking from the mosque's point of view, I'm talking from the, the madrasa, which is a center of learning, traditional centers of learning. Yeah. Um, they are teaching the do's and don'ts, the rules and regulations. Mm. Don't do this, don't yes. do that. That's forbidden, that's allowed. But they've forgotten to remind, they're assuming, and this is, my own analysis, mm. they're assuming that the youth, the next generation that will keep coming, they will know the foundations of Islam. They assumed it. Okay. So, I'll give you an example. Um, son, go and pray. Why? Just pray. It's a good now thing. Now give us the same thing in, in a bit with a bit of uh, Urdu and a bit of Punjabi. In there. I, I got this. That's it. The slipper come out, you know, the old slip, dad slipper thing. Yeah, chappal as we call yeah. it. Yeah, sandal. So that's what the rubber, it is. The rubber slipper. The, the rubber slipper. So it was, the, the, the religion was based upon a threat of, yeah. <laughs> of, of, a, of, a, of a sandal. And it was threats. It was that kind of thing. Rather than, 
Uh, okay, I've got to chop it like that. Okay, so, so, so basically, no, 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 basically, oh, hey, thanks to thanks to Dow Digital, yeah. we have a practical prop which yeah. has been thrown into the sea. Show them, give us three sixty twelve. Yeah. Brilliant, brilliant. It's not butter. So, you know, it's not butter. <laughs> For those that know, know what yes. butter is. Better cultural reference. There. Yeah. So it was like better go and pray, otherwise this is like that kind of yeah. thing. Yeah, I'll put that back there. Um, so. There was there was no explanations on why you should do certain duties. Mm. Why should you pray? Who are you praying to? Yeah. Should what kind of relationship am I have do I have with God? So this kind of was gonna miss. Yeah. On top of that, bro, before social media, you had other kinds of media. You had obviously the influence of um, <coughs> you know Bollywood and Hollywood and movies yeah. and just seeing and celebrities. So people are looking for role models. They're yeah. looking for you know the West. And, they, and because obviously we know, we pray that. Uh, the situation in Pakistan gets better in terms of economy. The, the poverty goes away one day, God willing. But we know, and you've seen it. It's it's, it's there. It's mm. in front of you. Here, there's poverty, of course, homeless. But there, it's there. Yeah. It's in front of your face. Yeah. It, it's it's heart wrenching. Yeah. And it's been the same misery for the last, you know, for, for decades. Yeah. Maybe there's some hope now, and things might change. But that's there. So um, when people they they get frustrated. And they said, look, nothing's happening. And then they see the West, they see Europe, they see all these countries. Yeah. They're going from, they're literally going to space. They're going mm. to the moon, they're going beyond the moon, they're going to Mars. And we're still struggling to have a basic yeah. livelihood. So they take the frustration out on religion mm. and, and the mullahs and the, and those kind of people. Right. So um, there's a few reasons okay. I gave that. I kind of mixed it no, up. No, no, I think, I think, yeah. I think you gave some but very so, good So basically, from. in a nutshell, yeah. do, do, do this, do that. No explanation of why we should do that. Mm -hmm. Going to the foundations. Sure, and, and that's, that's and that's what you see. So there's yeah. the youth. They have this this uh, affinity towards Islam. Yeah. This this there's deep love for it, yes. but they can't. They haven't connected all the dots. Yes. Hence, they don't understand some basic concepts, which you guys felt yes. that avoid and, yes. and need to uh, fill Final, the gap. Basically. Just put, just want to push this point home. Yeah, right? yeah of course. Bro. I went to uh, Pakistan this year. I go yeah. every year almost. Uh, I may be going again, uh, God willing. And I again, universities, colleges, schools, where the youth are, right? Yeah. And I did a thought experiment. I think I did this in Lahore. And I said, I, I was kind of scared of doing it, but I thought I have to do it. It's one of the things that, I, I, by impulse, I asked this class of guys, <coughs> is a class, is like 10, 15 guys and girls. I said to them, are you, you guys, you're Muslim? Yes, of course, sir. Why are you Muslim? So half said, because my parents are Muslim. And the other half said, because I believe in God. Then I said, okay, that's good. But then I said, why do you believe in God? It was a very mixed kind of answers. There yeah. was like one, two ones afterwards. That's actually for me a bit worrying. Yeah. Like even if you had a, just a basic reason, even if you said, uh, you know, like I feel it from the bottom of my heart. Yeah, that he absolutely. Which exists. wouldn't be a basic yeah, reason, bro. Yeah. Which is the fitra. Yeah, it's yeah. The nature even of if they said days, that, yeah. I'll be happy. But no one said it was. It was yeah. a very reluctant. It was a very like almost like fear of should they really say that. Mm. And second, there was a confusion coming out. But then the more than half the class was saying because my dad's Muslim. Yeah. And. His grandfather was Muslim, mm. and his grandfather Muslim, and this is like to, if we can do a reference to the, what yeah. the Quraysh said, it was a bit, a bit dangerous to have that belief yeah. that just you got your whole belief yeah. on in a creator and in, in God yeah. just because your family's telling. Mm. That's I think a bit worrying. But at the same time, wouldn't you say that a lot of the youth, the youngsters in Pakistan, are turning towards the religion with fresh pair of eyes, and are are are, are bringing? It's almost like a Revival, if you like, yeah, towards the tradition, yes, and it's very yes. beautiful. Like yes, the brothers we know from youth club and many yeah. others we've seen at universities and colleges, yes. it's it's absolutely amazing, yeah, yeah. right? Now, obviously, youth club, you know, may may God bless them and allow them to continue. They have been doing a phenomenal work across yeah. the country, you know, led by Zia and all the other brothers and yes. sisters involved, including yourself. You know, I when I went there, it just felt like home, right? Honestly, I just felt like family, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I, you know, I was missing the guys here in Ira, and I went there and I got it back. Yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah. it was, it was just, yeah. it was, I was just happy and both there's, days. There's a relationship with Ira as well. Yeah, of course. Set up so, in the so, 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 the, so, that's there, and we see the need for it, right? Yeah. Like you just mentioned, right? Yes. It's connecting the dots for the Muslims yes. there and making yes. things easy for them. Now, let me bring in another angle oh. for a second, yep. which is the angle of this atheist oh. movement, oh. atheism, ilhad. Right, Mulhideen, those mulhideen, yes. those that, that and you know they actually don't mulhideen. even use that term. They didn't. They didn't yeah, I know it. we we use it, but I think let's stick to athe yeah. atheists because because you know that, that's the term that the few that are there yeah. would refer to themselves. Well, that's with. A, those very few. Yeah, they would use atheism. They well, let me talk. Let me ask you that first. Yeah, go. You know the, the people watching the show, they've been kept hearing us saying, "Oh, we keep saying this few, few, few." Mm. They'll be hold on a second. What do you mean few? <laughs> we have a huge movement. We yes. we're all over the place. You know, yeah. we are covering the entire country. Is that true? First point, yeah. I would say there's probably 
two to three universities out yeah. of a hundred universities that you could say this kind of thought is fl- I want to say flourishing, but they're thinking about yeah. it. Yeah, there's people there, su- a few students. Yes, the majority, like, for example, Islamabad has like I don't know fifty odd universities yeah. institutes, yeah, and, yeah. and may may have it more. Probably one or two universities, yeah. and uh, they probably pushing this question religion yeah, and a few people Islam. in those universities yeah. as well that's yeah, number one point the second point is <clears throat> from my experience on university campuses yes and in the streets and students in events whatever is they they think they're atheists but once you have a discussion mm. they're actually not even agnostics mm. but before we get there yeah so what you're saying is that yeah. on the ground it's actually like you, you gave an example earlier. What was the example? You were saying something about a fly or something. Yeah. So around it's or... like you're in, in Pakistan, you know, if you want to have a, uh, a refreshing drink, yeah. it's got lassi yeah. and you're sitting in outdoors because it's, you know, it's, it's a nice country. There's, there's warmth. Yeah, and like course. UK is always raining, yeah. right? You sit there and in the summer you'll have a fly going around. Yeah. He was like, so you can so so for me atheism yeah. is like a fly. Yeah, yeah, you can ignore it and get it, but it's just annoying. Yeah, it's what, just like the away. little experience from there, bro. Yeah. The, the time we spent at the universities is quite intensive. There was very few what you yeah. would call people even remotely associated with atheism yeah. or right? pure atheists. Yeah. I don't know if that's what. To be honest, yeah. I don't think I came across any pure atheist when no, I was there. No. Maybe one. Remember we had the private meeting. Well, I was about to come to that. Yeah, yeah. those in, two uh, two guys that F10 we spoke to. F ten in at MJ's. Those no people know MJ's. Bit yeah. of a plug in there. Really nice cafe. Yeah, uh, we had a discussion there. Yes, and there's two people. We spent about an hour, an hour and yes. a half with them. Yeah, really good discussion. And apparently you said so. They came around. So when you had that discussion, yeah. and we don't have to go into details of it. And as far as I remember, they weren't even like you said, pure atheists. Yeah. It's more just just a few doubts, yeah. misunderstandings, that kind of thing. Yeah. Um, I asked the brother who introduced us. Yes. Because uh, I always like to know. You know, this it's inspiring <coughs> when you, although only God guides the hearts. Yes, absolutely. This is our principle, yeah, right? Absolutely. And we convey the message as compassionately as best as we can. Absolutely. Yeah. So when you have a result. It's pleasing. It's it's inspiring, and it keeps you motivated. Because human beings, we need motivation, right? So the brother informed me that uh, the guy who was talking, he's uh, left his position wherever yeah. he was, and the guy who was with him, he's completely changed and, and wow. completely repented, and now he wants to get seek knowledge Brilliant. and go to youth Brilliant. events. May God bless him. So, do you know what I mean? No, it's, this is yeah, amazing. The no, so uh, hopefully, God willing, here yeah, we God willing, yeah. Praise uh, be to God. So, so here's the thing, bro. So, it is a minor thing. Yes. Obviously, now on YouTube and when you hear it online, yes. because there's certain uh, uh, yeah. spokespersons, yeah. right? That, Social media, that, everything looks big. Yeah, everything looks big, right? <laughs> so, so that even this channel. That no, yeah, no, exactly. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Hopefully, <I'm joking. laughs> it's that's a the, thank you, Nadine. That's really nice of you. <laughs> I really appreciate that, bro. Uh, that being Keeping said, you humble, bro. Of course, yeah. Okay, so look. That being said, bro. Yes. It's a minor. It's a minor uh, thing. Yes. Yeah. It's just a small little. Thing that's it's going like on. a little itch. Yeah, fine. It's okay. an itch that needs to be scratched. Whatever, whatever it is, yeah, yeah. let's call it. Let's see. Yeah, it it's, right? there. It's, it's there. It's there. It's there. Absolutely, it's there. We know it's yeah, there because we, yeah. we're addressing this. We'll give them that recognition. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Now, my, have that. but my, <laughs> my here's my thing. You've been on campuses more than probably anyone I've seen from a Dao perspective yeah. from the West that's been on uni campuses doing active engagement with, with the, the youth. With the will and honor of yeah, God, absolutely. Yes. yes. Now, stop being from God. Stop being overly. No, no. I always say this. I have to. Okay. Brilliant. Uh, but look, bro, come on. Let, let's let's be honest. Now, you're, you've been there. You've experienced. I've had the experiences. It. Yes. Why? I'm gonna ask you now. Very. Uh, it's 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 probably quite a heavy question. And I want you to try and answer it the best you can. Why do you feel? Whatever, amount of people are turning towards atheism, mm. are turning towards atheism. What do you think the reasons are? Maybe summarize it in three reasons. And this is picking up from where we left off with Azim uh, in the last show. Okay. Um, one is I think because of social media. Okay. Yeah, uh, and just general media has okay. been pushed a lot. And as far as we, as far as what I've understood is, of course, the West, like, like we have our um, dawah. So the, the, the non-Islam or non-Muslim, they also have that as well. Yes, yeah? of course. Inadvertent. Yeah, Absolutely. we know this. Everyone, so they have, and they, everyone has a right to share their opinion. Indeed. And they, sp- but they especially want to push yeah. their agendas in the Muslim world. Especially Pakistan, okay. right? And there's yep. certain, and there's that's what Dawkins wants to do. Yeah, you can lead. You can look at uh, when you look at the trail. Maybe some NGOs. I'm not going to name names. Maybe some uh, personalities. Uh-huh. Some people from here go to Pakistan. They're trying to push. So there's various. Yeah. So they're doing their their work. And some youngsters get influenced. Yeah, so social mm-hmm. media number one. Number two, I would say, um, you know, the thing with Pakistan, right, is in the UK, especially London. 
There's a lot of entertainment. Mm -hmm. You can do a lot of things. Yep. Clubbing, partying. It's freedom, right? Yes. Pakistan, they're restricted. It's a traditional country. They have traditional ways and families and that kind of thing. So they actually read books there. <coughs> Here yes. you could argue the average atheist streets, they don't read the books. They just follow yeah. the video or uh, follow people that have been taught in school. Yeah. yeah. And social engineering everything. They they actually read books. So yeah. there they actually read Richard Dawkins' books yeah. and other people, authors' books, right? Yeah, but that's so shocking. When you read that yeah, stuff, they actually read it and they they'll give references. It, yeah, true. But my my thing is when you do read that stuff, yeah, it actually when you and you read it properly, you well, realize that's that's the, the folly the, of of, they don't of, of such individuals. Yeah, they just they they read it on a surface level. Yeah, they go, oh look, there you go. That's, mm. Oh, this is why it's uh, this is why. But you say they refer to books, yeah, refer to books. as so, opposed to generally speaking, yes. anywhere else. And third reason I think the biggest is. Uh, it's a very basic one is yeah. we've not even got to know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we've not even got to know God his nature mm. his love his his you know his mercy his names and attributes yeah that is a very simple thing we, mm. it's it's almost like only the people in the in the certain institutes or in the mosques they need to know this but really we every single youngster does it and the 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 few engagements I've had so before yeah. you know you learn you change your style before I would try and and I still do use positive arguments to articulate Islam to those people who got doubts about, you know, does God, you know, they heard does God really exist and does Allah exist? So you give them arguments, yeah, chronic argument, design argument, whatever. But then I realized, actually, I changed the style. Let me talk about Allah more. Let me tell what is the concept of God in Islam because yeah. there's a lot of misconception, a lot of misunderstanding. Uh -huh. This is to the Muslims, or the atheists, the, the, the whoever I'm chatting to. Okay, but yeah, so you use the same. So, you use so the same strategy for atheists. I do the same strategy. Okay, so I, sometimes I, it depends on the situation, of yeah. course. But especially this year when I went to Karachi University, one of the the largest universities yeah. in Karachi, a huge campus, and there I think there's one particular sister. She's a Muslim sister. She, um, she had a couple of questions uh, about science. She said, look, why do you lot believe to science and all that kind of, they think that, you know, we as practicing Muslims, we believe to science. Yeah. And we'd explain, no, we don't know issues with <laughs> science. We just got issues with scientism, right? Yeah. So uh, it's a beautiful subject. In fact, in our tradition, you mm. know, we have science, induction method, et cetera, et cetera. So uh, after that, I had a conversation. So then I said, actually, you know what? We could discuss my opinion about science, this and that, to and fro. But can I just ask you a question? What have you learned about your creator? What yeah. have we, I try and use the word we, what have we learned about creator? I don't know if it sounds superior, right? Yeah. I'm still learning as well. You know, his mercy, just to talk about his mercy can be a whole podcast, can be a whole subject, can be a whole book on its own. Mm. We just, um, yeah, he's, you know, Ghafoor Rahim. Yeah. Like very dry Ghafoor Rahim. Yeah. They don't go in deep, bro. That's the biggest yeah. issue. Yeah. So a lot of us, uh, uh, the practicing Muslims or the non-practicing and, and the atheists or agnostics, I put them in the same category because, then, like I said, we're not even sure if they're yeah. atheists or agnostics. So, or whatever. so what you've said is very interesting. What you're saying is that when you speak, spoken to atheists in Pakistan or someone that may be inclined towards this, want to be atheist, thinking, but yeah, it's not really exactly on university campuses. Yes. you've taken a spiritual approach. Now that's very interesting because I would say, yeah, okay, you could call it spiritual. Okay, you know, if you, you can yeah. correct that, I would just say this is the approach. <laughs> okay, because, all right, okay, because, fine. Because if we if we follow. Um, the best example Yes The greatest human being ever Yeah That lived for, uh, I'll tell you what Pause it No sorry sure. finish the point I don't want to no, I don't want to place to interrupt you He called, Talking about the, pr pr he, the prophet peace Yeah he yeah. The prophet peace He called to God And he explained God's nature He yes. talked about his name and attributes And yeah. that's what we do I'll tell you what Let's do something quickly I want you to do a quick Take role a play. Okay. No, no, quick role, role play. play. No breaks okay. on this show, bro. You need no, no <laughs> breaks. You need time to eat your cookie, bro. Um, so look, let's do a quick role play. Sure. You're on campus, Pakistan. You're at Fast University. And you're on the table and I come over to you. So our tables, we relate, are so good that people come to our table. That's another difference between UK. Yeah. Here, we have to like break an yeah. arm and leg for someone to come to and chat to yeah. us. There, we put, put the table out and usually... They come over to you. Okay, fine. So, so let's do that. Okay, yeah. so I'm coming so, over so to I'm you. So I'm going to picture you as someone wearing a My name's Raj, AC, DC Raja, but yeah. you can know me as Rob. Rob, okay. Nice to meet you. So if you, first of all, Rob, that's a good handshake. Do you go to the gym? No, you know, but I like to... Uh, nah, don't be humble, man. Look at you. Brilliant. Uh, sometimes. Good shape. Sometimes. Sometimes. I just have good genetics, you know. Very so. good. Ah, good. Um, so uh, what are you doing here today? We are here to talk about anything you want to. Okay, I, but you know, I see you... You got Muslim literature. Yes. You got pray five. What times do you think? A nice, day. nice flyer. Yeah, pray five. Nice late flyer, but I don't know about what it says. Okay, pray five times a day. You know, we we live in the modern world. We have science to engage in. We have to study the world. You know, I believe in science. I don't believe in God and praying five times a day. <laughs> 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 Sorry, I had to use a bit no, of no, that's, that's, that's what fine. I remember hearing it's when fine. I was there. Yeah, no, I don't believe in God. So first of all, I I like the fact, uh, Rob, that you out of all these students have actually took the courage to speak to a mullah. So well done for that. <laughs> okay, well I wouldn't. Call, I wouldn't call you that. I'm just joking. I'm just yeah. joking. So because 
you know, I like to joke around. I, there's too <coughs> much formality in the world. There's okay. too much seriousness in the world. Let's chill out and have a good chat. Um, that's a good question. Mm-hmm. What I would say to you, Rob, is there was, a, there was a time when I also had not, I wasn't questioning religion, but I was away from religion. Mm-hmm. I didn't understand religion. I didn't understand Islam. I thought Islam was just a bunch of rituals. We do have rituals, but that's what it is. Mm-hmm. Later on, I realized, Rob, mm-hmm. in fact, can I call you, what's your, like, R- your parents gave Raja. you name? Raja. Raja. There's nothing wrong with that, right? Oh, Roger's no. princely, I man. Rob was nice and short. Just are Yeah, well. So you're, I don't, I don't know what Rob means. Yeah? Robber? Anyway. So, <laughs> but Raja's princely. So let's do uh, Raja. So Raja, um, I realized that Islam is much more than rituals. It's the true, it's the way of life, Islam. Now you're going to ask, well, brother, why are you saying it's truth? Well, then we can revisit. We can mm-hmm. talk about the, the universe, our existence. Mm-hmm. We can discuss that. But I'm just telling you my story, bro. That there was a time when I was away from Islam, mm. I wasn't practicing it, I was confused, lost, and that kind of thing. There's frustrations of a young guy. Mm. Probably a lot of students here have that. Mm-hmm. But then, you know, I started thinking a bit more mm-hmm. and I started hanging around with people and asking them questions. That's another thing. I don't know if you've maybe you're asking no, me a I question. ask questions, you, but no one has answered to my questions. And they probably get aggressive. Yeah, they don't have answers. Just like one of my friends, his name is Zia. Mm. Uh, when he was he's a good devout Muslim now, but there's a time when he wasn't. And he went to his local imam. He had questions. He goes, in Urdu, he goes, Malvi sahab, khuda hai. And the Malvi sahab, iske, I have five, five answers for that. G. <laughs> <laughs> That's terrible, bro. That's really that bad. Act, yeah, he that him. is really bad. That's really it? bad. That's and disgusting. And that summarizes the that's approach. That's disgusting. So that's why I don't blame Rob. Yeah. Completely. And I don't blame yeah, that, him. I'll be still a role player. I'll be coming out. No, I think we'll come out. Yeah. I think that's enough. So but what, what we're saying is that you really engage with them. You warm to them. Yeah, yeah. yeah and, and, we, and this is the you thing. You have to connect. You know something, bro? Unfortunately, sometimes as Muslims, we don't treat others like human beings, yes. right? We, like you said, we seem to think we're superior, we're mechanics, which, we're which robots, is which yeah. is which which is a disgusting trait to have. Yeah. Firstly, and secondly, it doesn't. You are not carrying the message, or you are not being a good carrier of the message yeah. of truth. Yeah. Because when you act like this, what are people going to think of what you're saying, 100%. right? So what you do is very, and I've seen you do this practically. Yeah. You warm to them. You're like, I'm like you. Yeah. I'm not. I'm yeah, not. Yeah, yeah. I'm not. No. I c- I could have gone. Okay, bro, let me give you the chronic argument for God's existence. Yeah. Right, the universe. Can so you're saying nothing? Yeah. That's, that's so what we do. Unfortunately, yeah. a lot of brothers, see, this is the thing now. Like, I'm, I'm gonna, you're going to think, brother Nadim, I'm not being humble. Yeah. I'm being real. I like to be real, yeah? I'm still learning. You're one of my teachers, Ustad. No, I was going to say, I'm one of your students. Yeah? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> of course I am, bro, when, you, when it comes I'm, to... So I'm learning, and we're all yeah. learning, yeah? I'm trying to uh, learn the arguments, the positive arguments for the existence of the creator. There's many yeah. amazing arguments in our tradition. Um, but I'm a very, um, I think a very simple guy. Yeah. I like to break things down simply. So um, I believe that there's brothers and sisters in Pakistan yeah. who can talk about the chronic argument, the argument from contingency, the design argument, the morality of consciousness so perfectly yes. with all the wording, all the references. Yep. Chapter number one, you know all that. I, everything, I 100% yeah? agree, bro. But but yeah. you know what is you know yeah. you know how where they mess up is that initiate. It's all about initiation. Yeah. I know the, it's a different discussion. Maybe you yeah. do another bit because I'm very really passionate. about No, no, this. we'll definitely do that. But so uh, and this is you know so what I've I've seen brothers on the stall in Pakistan campuses. Yeah. They've gone straight into it. In fact, uh, I think even Hamza said like you you have a chat with someone yeah. and you don't know they've not even said hello yeah. and you think oh he's an atheist. <laughs> I must bash We actually him. teach that, and with one of the changes we made to the Dao yes, yes. course that we do, one of the courses we run, plugin, is yeah. to treat humans like humans and not robots. Yeah, you have to. Because you can't just expect them that you put in and you would yeah. input and you get yeah. an output. You can't just drop in an argument, one size fits all, and it yeah. should work. No. We're not mechanic robots. Yeah. We're, there's hearts involved. Absolutely. There's, absolutely. there's emotions. So, okay, so on that note, bro, say there's, there is a some atheist watching this right now from yes. Pakistan or anywhere for that matter, and, you know, they they like they like you they're like okay this guy's nice he's warm he's 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 real right yeah. he's let's he's have, keeping let's it real have coffee with me. when I go yeah. next now yeah. what what message look into the eyes right now bro into the camera okay. and give what message would you what would you tell them look, they're confused they think they're atheist but uh, they haven't come across a Muslim that instead of showing them the five points like mm. you mentioned which yes. was disgusting yes. uh, but they no one's given them a straight answer yeah. right. What would you say to them right now? In, in literally 30 seconds, what would you I say I would them? say that before you've made your decision that there is no religion, there's no Islam, it's all a road rubbish, before you come to that decisive decision, look into Islam from its foundation aspects. This may sound very basic, but I, I feel that uh, you guys haven't. 
So look into Islam from a foundation aspect and you'll be surprised, you'll be shocked like, a, like many of us. And I'll also say that um, although there's youth club and there's other organizations like IRA and other brothers, um, <coughs> our approach should be, and this I guess is a message for those people, not just the atheists, but those people who are engaging with atheists. The message is, uh, and, and speak to you atheists, that you will not be judged. You will not be judged. You can ask any question you want under the sun, no matter how weird, how strange, how dark, how evil you think is, ask those questions. Those who don't ask the questions won't get the answers. Sure. Brilliant. And they're going to be asking questions in the comment section below. Yes, Definitely. Please. So make sure you keep an eye on it, bro, and you can answer Subscribe, them. Subscribe, One last thing comment. I want you to do in the next two minutes is now address the Muslims of Pakistan. Oh, those that are finding their way, right? Those that have, are figuring things out, but they sometimes lose the confidence. They sometimes lose the heart. They sometimes lose that drive, you know, but they have they have that they have that clean heart they're yeah. making their way towards Allah towards God what advice would you give them in the world that we live in today so if, yeah okay so if you're referring that, I, don't, to, I guess I don't want to finish the question you well, already I'm, know what I'm about to say the people who want to change yeah? that's fine no you started that's fine you've interrupted me already bro it's fine <laughs> don't talk to them you said two minutes that's fine that's fine <laughs> go on finish it no, I, I forgot I'll allow you, this is your channel I've forgotten your, your captivating message, message for the Muslim youth yes yeah who are changing? No, so who are on the way? Who are trying to figure it out? Trying to keep up with their okay. tradition, with Islam? They're trying to practice more, but they're struggling, etc. What would you say to them? Uh, so, as someone who has had the privilege of engaging in uh, dawah and sharing Islam and campuses and Pakistan and cities everywhere, what I've noticed is a lot of people, like you said, they want to change. There's a spark, but they leave it at just that one workshop, and that's it. And that's that's the mistake. So, am I addressing you? Or you can whatever you feel comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you like okay. to speak to. Do you want to just yeah? I'm about to wait. Carry on. So, look, I would say, brothers and sisters, yeah, that you went to that workshop or you saw a YouTube video, you saw epistemics, and it, it you started having some questions and it sparked something within you. Don't leave it at that one video. Don't leave it at that one sh workshop. This is something which I did and many others did before. You need to find, there are some amazing scholars and students of knowledge. There's a lot of, lot of stuff available online. And maybe because I'm old school, but yeah, there's online stuff, but there's also offline scholars yeah. exist. They are still there. There's Absolutely. many institutions, female scholars and amazing scholars in English as well. It's just, you got to not just say, oh, it's not there. That's you got to make yeah. an effort. You got to, for knowledge, you got to go out there and seek it. You Absolutely. got to make some sort of effort. Absolutely. And you trust me, bro. I've seen huge potential in in in, in people of Pakistan, bro. Yes. Especially the youth and the yes. students. They're phenomenal. Yeah. They have the ability, the capability. They they're passionate. They're intelligent. Yes. You know, they are resourceful. They they just they have so much potential, bro. That's yes. just waiting to be tapped. Yes. Uh, in in sharing this message of Islam with the whole world. So you know. Uh, may God, you know, uh, utilize them uh, yes. for his for his path. That being said, bro, I thank mean, you for coming on. Where could they find pleasure. Youth Club? Uh, Youth Club on Facebook, YouTube channel. Okay, brilliant. Where Instagram. could they find Down Motivation, which is your uh, content that's, YouTube channel? That, that's too exclusive. Down, Motiv right? Down, Down Motivation <laughs> is the YouTube channel. I'll link in the description that's below. For, that's for practical tips. On your that. practical tips on how to engage and share the message yeah. of Islam. Make sure, obviously, to subscribe to Epistemics. Uh, share if you haven't already. Share this video, click the notification bell, and we have Dawa Digital jumping around in the background because he wants me to remind you guys to make sure to subscribe to Dawa Digital because you'll be putting out some really brilliant new content. Oh, weekly right. content, hopefully, hopefully, weekly content. Do do. Uh, and uh, yeah, leave your thoughts below. Let me know your thoughts, your ideas, your suggestions, anything you want to add in the comment section. Nadim will keep an eye on it. Until next time, take care.